Hello well, Steve White, Steve Arts 89. I thought it might be fun to share some of my worst dates just for the fun of it. I don't know why, I just wanted to. Um, I already did my worst date, but um, there was another one that was bad for different reasons. There was this guy, um, attractive, Asian guy, tall-ish, um, well-built, not like a gym bunny, but um, like natural sort of big build. Um, he rode a motorcycle, he was, he was I wouldn't say mass because he was a bit of an artist and a little bit of a geek, but basically a um, very interesting person. And um, we'd met up at the Laird, I think. We'd chatted a few times at some very um, um, risque sort of events and that. But um, this, we didn't hook up or anything, but there still seemed to be something there of an interest. And I sort of said, I'd like to sort of get to know you. I don't want to just hook up. Um, so eventually... He dropped by my place. I thought it was going to... I thought, ah, oh, he just wants to hook up. But um, aside from um, a little bit of <laughs> flirting um, and um, um, such, we basically end up going out. And the first date, we went to just a little place in the city. Um, I think it was in um, Queen Victoria. Um, we sat and just had a coffee. And we're chatting, and of course I'm trying to be engaging and interesting, blah, 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 you know, you know you're trying to put up, put on your best, sort of. And suddenly, a bird from above literally pooed right on my forehead. It just went down, I'm like, no, that doesn't happen in the real world. That's something that happens in the movies, where you're sitting there, talking to someone on a date, and then a bird literally poops right on your forehead. But he did. So even though I got cleaned up and we and we moved to another place and we chatted and that, um, I, I thought I can't recover from that. <laughs> but um, we did have another date after that. I was surprised and we met up again in the city. Um, I got to see his motorbike and um, we just went and found somewhere. And I think this time was in Melbourne Central, and we're sitting and talking. Um, things were going okay. I feel like I'd survived the first disaster. And then I managed to knock my, my hot chocolate, which is what I drink because I don't drink alcohol or coffee or anything. And of course, because it was kind of summerish, I usually wear dark colours, I actually had um, like light coloured jeans and I spilt hot chocolate all over myself and just brown everywhere. Um, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'm, I, I survived the first one, I'm not going to survive this one. And we didn't have a third date. So... Now, I did see him a couple of times. We have chatted a few times. And actually, I accidentally transferred $150 into his account. Because um, I'm forgetting. No, we did have another. Actually, after that, no, we went out one more time. I forgot. We went to, but I think he just wanted someone to go with. It wasn't really a date. It was more just like, well, I think Steve will go. I need someone to go with. Steve will go with me. Um, we went to the Hot Springs um, in Melbourne. Um, this sort of just out of the city. You know, he drives. So we met up. We went there. We just sort of hung out in, in the springs and walked around and did what, if, you know, what you do there and that. And then just sort of he drove me home and then I didn't see him again. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, I did see him out somewhere. I did, like I said, I had had his account because um, I had to um, pay for um, my side of it. And I accidentally transferred $150 into his account and I messaged him hoping he had the same number because we hadn't talked for a year or so, like before COVID actually a couple of years. And I just said, um, yeah, I accidentally transferred this money into your account. Can you send it back? He said, yeah, sure. So no problem, did it, no issue. He wasn't, he could have, he could have just ignored me and kept the money and been a jerk. But seems like a nice guy. I'm sure I'll see him around the scene, but um, I don't think we have a future, sadly, because a bird pooed on me and I <laughs> spilt chocolate all over myself. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's just... I don't know, has anyone had uh, like one of those, it's just like such a cliche, like you'd see that in a movie where someone spills a drink all over themselves or a bird poos on their head, like when they're trying to like, you know, impress someone and, and you know, um, yeah, it could only happen to me, I feel like. But I'm going to go, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, thanks, bye.